Greetings everyone. Good evening YouTubers. New time travel behind me 88. Welcome back to my channel and it's time once again for another VHS and DVD update for Friday, October 27th, 2023. And today it's my 11th anniversary on my of my YouTube channel. That's right. New time travel behind me 88 created 11 years ago. So this is a good opportunity to show off my VHS and DVD update. All right, so let's get down to business, shall we? We'll start off with the first VHS tape that I got. It's the 1988 VHS of History of the World Part One. And it stars Mel Brooks, and also starring Dom DeLuise, Madeline Kahn, Harvey Corman, Cloris Leachman, Ron Carey, Gregory Hines, Pamela Stevenson, Spike Milligan, also um, Shecky Green, and Sid Caesar. Directed by Mel Brooks in the films from 1981. And this also has um, B. Arthur's in there along with Henry Youngman, Hugh Hefner, and Jackie Mason. I have no idea this is a, a Playhouse VHS copy of this exists until now. History, the way it never happened. I heard they're going to do a sequel to the History of the World Part 1, which is History of the World Part 2. Rated R and is 92 minutes. Here's the sticker label. It's a 1990 release. This is a reprint. The print date, October 17th, 1990. And it's printed in the 20th week of 1990. So we all know what this will have at the end, since this copy has a print date. It also comes with this little advertisement, plus a bonus questions and quotes. Interesting, huh? And the answer's on the upside down, which I really like that. How cool is that? Up next, the 1989 VHS of Crocodile Dundee with Paul Hogan, also starring Linda Kalzowski, Mark Blum, David Gulpill, Michael Lombard, and John Milliam, directed by him. Peter Feynman and a film, no, Feynman, and a film is from 1986. Now, I was going to find a 1987 copy of my thrift store, but that copy has a mold on it, so I went ahead and got the 1989 tape, because if you look right here, it says Paramount of Gulf Western Company without the 75th anniversary variant, just like the my 1989 copy of Star Trek for The Voyage Home. This movie is co-produced by 20th Century Fox, although the 20th Century Fox logo is not showing. They have the international rights to the film, but in the U.S., it's Paramount Picture. Ready PG-13, and it's 98 minutes. Here's the sticker label and label. And the print date is February 23rd, 1990. So it's printed in the 35th week of 1990. And there's the Moni Sound Only barcode on there. So yes, actually there's no print date. I forgot because there was a receipt, originally came to receipt. It was purchased on a... February 23rd of 1990 at Sam Goody's 
in downtown Baltimore. Yeah, it says this is um, a print date copy. We all know what this will have at the end. Up next, before I show you the next tape, remember I show you the copy of the Butcher's Wife VHS? And as you can see, this copy right here has a mold on the tape right there. So, this prompts me to find another copy of the Butcher's Wife. Yes, this is still in seal, but a tape, but it opens from the bottom. And this is a 1992 VHS of the 1991 movie with Demi Moore, Jeff Daniels, also starring George DeZunda, Dunza, Francis McDormand, Margaret Collin, and Mary Steenburgen, directed by Terry Hughes, and the film is from 1991. Rated PG-13 and it's 107 minutes. The very good news is the butcher's wife, the entire cast, cast a spell of pleasure, says Gene Shalit of Today's Show. Here's the sticker label, say 1993 reprint. Here's the end label. The ninth week of 1993. Finally got this copy. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep this copy, and I'm going to throw my old copy in the trash. Let's move on to the next VHS. The 1991 VHS of Guys and Dolls. With Marlon Brando, Gene Simmons, also starring Frank Sinatra, Vivian Bland, Robert Keith, Stubby K, B.S. Polly, Johnny Sylvia, and the Goldwyn Girls. Directed by Joseph L. Mankiewicz, and the film is from 1955. I also had a CBS Fox video copy of this. And it says here, this title has been partially letterboxed to provide enhanced clarity of scope and spectacular of production numbers. The black bar is visible on the top and bottom on your screen are normal condition of this video transfer process. I wish the entire movie's in widescreen. A huge scale beautiful stage eye and earful of Fun and Frolics is Q Magazine. Not ready in its 150 minutes. 1955 film renewed in 1983. And this is purchased on Saturday matinee on February 23rd, 1991. Actually, it's 1992 on the receipt. But here's the sticker label, and it's got the CBS Fox video logo on there with the 1990 copyright. And this is a later printing from the 46th week of 1993. I'm going to check to see if this tape has the, whether it is the Fox video logo or the CBS Fox video logo. I'll let you guys know in the pinned comments section down there. Up next, the 1990, 1990 VHS of The Hunt for Red October with Sean Connery and Alec Baldwin, and also starring Scott Glenn, James Earl Jones, and Sam Neill, directed by John McTiernan, and the film is from 1990. The first, you've got to see it, a blockbuster of the 90s, says Joel Siegel, Good Morning America. Rated PG and is 135 minutes, even though it says 1989, that's incorrect. Here's the sticker label. This is a 1991 reprint. Here's the end label. And this is a um, 
a different pre, and this is a later copy, by the way. The 20th week of 1993, but this tape still uses the 1991 tape mask because it has a different preview of the Paramount Great Movies Great Price with an announcer by Jerry G. Bishop. The other copy is the one I do got. It has the trailer, it has the voice announcer by John Leader. How cool is that? And not only that, it also comes with this. The Great Movies, Great Price of 1993 booklet. How cool is that? I love the, the Paramount Picture logo. Look at that. It's very nice. Who painted this Paramount Picture logo? If someone knows, let me know in the comments below. Yeah. Piece of cake. Alright. And the last VHS tape that I got is the 1990 VHS of the Star Wars Trilogy. Now, the reason why I got another copy, because the copy I just, that I brought last year is a later printing from 1992, because they have the CBS Fox video copy on there, which I already own that copy. Start with Star Wars. This is a 1977 film with Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, and the late Carrie Fisher. Also has the late Peter Cushing and the late Alice Guinness. And also has Anthony Daniels, Kenny Baker, and the late Peter Mayhew. And this also has James Earl Jones. Because originally, James Earl Jones has the uncredited appearances in the both first two Star Wars films until he was credited in the Return of the Jedi. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Rated PG and it's 124 minutes. That is incorrect. The correct running time is 121 minutes. Here's the sticker label. The print date, November 20th, 1990. And it's printed in the 48th week of 1990. Since this copy has a print date, we all know what this will have at the end. Up next, also, The Empire Strikes Back. This is a 1990 VHS of the 1980 film with Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, and the late Carrie Fisher once again. Also stars Billy D. Williams, Anthony Daniels, David Prowse, Kenny Baker, Peter Mayhew, and Frank Oz. Directed by Irvin Kirshner. And I know David Prowse also in the first film, Star Wars, but we all know later is A New Hope. The battle continues. Ready PG and it's 128 minutes. The incorrect running, that's the running time is also incorrect. The correct running time is 124 minutes for The Empire Strikes Back. Here's the sticker label. Print it in the, the 41st week of 1990 and there's the Moni Sal Only barcode. And it came with this. Nice little advertisement. Star Wars Trilogy, just $19.95 suggested retail price. Star Wars Trilogy Pack, and it come, also comes with also information. And from Star Wars to the Jedi, the lo new low price of $9.98. Cool. Unfortunately, the, star, the answer does not come, the answer of this does not appear on the Star Wars VHS tapes.
and here's Return of the Jedi. This is a 1983 um, movie, but the tape is from 1990 with Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, and also starring Billy D. Williams, Anthony Daniels, David Prowse, Kenny Baker, Peter Mayhew, and Frank Oz. And this also has James Earl Jones as Darth Vader. He also voiced in The Empire Strikes Back. Directed by Richard Marquand. The film is from, I did say the year already. And this has the picture of Wicked. And this one has a character of Yoda. And this one is Darth Vader on both the sides and the top. The Empire is brought to its knee. Ready PG in its 134 minutes. Once again, the running time is incorrect. It's 132 minutes. Here's the sticker label. The 49th week of 1990. Oh, yes. And this also comes with this little flyer right there. All right. And now I finally got the, and I did check the tapes for all three of them. And yes, it does have the CBS Fox video logo at the beginning with the Dolby Surround stereo logo, with Dolby Surround logo and the CBS Fox video collector's preview. And since I've now finally got it, I'm going to donate my other individual so I'm going to keep these in my collection. All right, that's it for the VHS. Let's move to the DVDs. The DVDs and the VHS that I got at my local thrift store and the, the VHS that I got from off of eBay. The next, uh, the first DVD that I got is the 2006 DVD release of Doom. This is the unrated extended edition with Dwayne Rock Johnson, also starring Carl Urban, Roseman Pike, Raz Adati. The film is directed by Andre Bartwak and the film's from 2005. This film is in widescreen. Unrated extended movie too intense for theaters. It's got some special features right here and many more. Rated, not rated, and it's one hour and 53 minutes, so that's 113 minutes altogether. Here's the DVD look like, and it comes with a little promo for the Doom video game and the Universal DVD advertisement on here. See? And a promo of Battlestar Galactica re Reboot. I do have Sequest DSV, and I do have Pitch Black, Chronicles of Riddick, and Doom. That's the one. I do have both of them, all three of them. And finally... I got is Sister Sister the Complete Collection. This is a 2019 release. You're probably wondering why I got another copy of this because my other copy has some the DVD just one of them just popped out and it started rattling. So I end up um, um, donate that so I end up uh, sending back that copy Actually, I didn't send it back to Amazon because um, the exchange is over. Bummer. So I end up um, 
sending the other copy to um, the thrift store, and I kept this copy. This is still in brand new and factory sealed. This is a reissue from 2019. As you may recall, the other copy, the first edition, has the bonus of 17 again. Unfortunately, this copy does not have the 17 again um, uh, DVD. And I know that first edition is out of print. So I thought, even though I got um, 17 again individually, and unfortunately, a number of music that appeared on the show has been substituted because due to music rights issue. All 119 episodes. All right. Well, that's it for this week's VHS and DVD update. Dates, stay tuned. More of the one eleventh anniversary special coming up on my live stream. And until then, make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye for now.